I've always wanted to be successful. You know, I've always wanted to try to be the best I can at what I do, and I love, I love like seeing the results of that. Lazio keeping it in. Gonzalez is into the box. Jorge Gonzalez across the front. It's Lachlan McLean again. The same two have tied up tonight. Gonzalez in front for McLean, who's got two in less than a minute. just always found that I loved the game and I loved soccer so from pretty much when I was nine months old uh, my uncle bought me bought me a soccer ball and they tell me videos of me running up and down the sideline at like a year old dribbling a soccer ball so that's pretty much been my life up until this point. He's extremely competitive his physical tools speak for, for themselves, but I think it's more about that mentality of uh, how you use your body when you chase balls down. I mean, he's, he's an aggressive, aggressive, strong player. Most importantly, my family is something that motivates me. Uh, the, the, the trust and the faith they, they put in me uh, and the amount they believe in me is really, really inspiring and it really helps to motivate me to, to try and be the best, the best I can be. Yeah, I've developed in some way, shape or form. Um, but, and you know, I, I, and I love it. I think the biggest thing for me was coming over here uh, it's been a, it's a real pro environment and it was a test to see if I'd still love it and I still love the game I love the game probably more than when I left Australia I think the biggest thing is I never want to regret anything in my life this has been a dream of mine since I was a little kid and the one-way ticket is just a way, I guess, a way to symbolize and a way to motivate myself that, you know, home's always going to be there, but right now, in order to achieve my dream, I have to, I have to, you know, fully focus. And a one-way ticket kind of gives me no alternative, and it's a good way to help myself focus and, uh, and you know, self-motivate myself to want to achieve what I want to achieve here before I even consider, you know, going home. doing the second session for the day in the uh, weight room. I'm gonna go right now with Mark, I'm working on uh, two things. I'm working on one, a couple of the tests which probably would come up at the combine. So I'm trying to get myself sharp for those, but also just trying to build, you know, basic speed, strength, agility, uh, all the principles which are gonna help me uh, be better on the field when it comes to those trials and then into next season. get a workout in um, so I'm gonna have breakfast go work out whether I do one session or two sessions uh, get that done and then after that you know have lunch um, maybe get some recovery and go to the training room staff uh, around lunchtime and then at least for me then I've got the rest of the day Lockie helps lead the way where he knows he's got an opportunity here to develop into a, a player at the next level. He certainly has that potential. He's a big time 
big time athlete. He has a great skill set, but certainly someone who knows he he's ready to work for what he's given, and, and he earns everything that that comes in front of him. So when he scores a goal or when he has a good game, it's not by accident. I think the work that he puts in helps lead him to those moments. So so they're great to see when they come. challenge to seeing how I do it at a level like that um, and yeah you know I'm sure it's going to come with a lot of adversity and a lot of struggles but it's definitely something which you know I've set as a goal that I want to achieve in my life so, so I'm something I'm going to push for. 